You know, I figured I'd see you somewhere. You're uh, searching for the Darker Lord. Ah, uh, I remember now. It's Darker Lord Sakurai. I've got no clue where he might be. Boys, I found him. We've done it. Game over. Miitopia's done. See you on the Switch. But the thing about the Traveler's Hub is that all the Mii's here, uh, if you couldn't tell already, completely randomized. The first time I happened to hop in there, I found a me of Persona 2's most memorable boss, Adolf Hitler. And that kind of begs the question, why? why? Is that a motherfucking dangy? One day I kind of just had an idea of how to have a snow day in a virtual setting. And the best idea I had was tossing my laptop in a bunch of snow. Just a minute there. Who is it never? Oh, it's my boy, Steve Harvey. Let's do it, dude. Ah, ah, hey, uh, not you. It sure as hell isn't this one. That's him, the abominable snowman. A bomb, ab, ab, dum, ab, dub. God damn it. Even in this game, I still don't know how to talk. Man, this game knows me really well. Let's go, abominable s Yeti. Something was lost in translation here. Ah, it's going crazy. I really don't like how Goose can open his mouth. I can't give good commentary if I'm frozen in an ice block. Y'all know what time it is. All out attack! You'll never see this coming. <laughs> All right, Markiplier, show me the photo. <laughs> they showed off my good side in this one. I'm looking fly as hell. Yo, it's Dio Brando. <laughs> Squillium! Ladies and gentlemen, Miitopia. This makes too much sense. Oh, I'm pissed at him. <laughs> he stole my girl. Honestly, JFK would be the Misto Steelio girl. <laughs> Slorm. We were just in the plains a minute ago. And now we're here in the forest. They really do have everything here. How peculiar. All right. All right. You know what? I'm just, I'm just going to fucking throw in the towel right here. <gasps> oh my god, it's my favorite enemies. The cactus cool. The Thunder Lord, huh? I did see some dark and lordly earlier. Ominous shadow, certain creepily of our society. Sound anything like the dark lord you're looking for? Where could he have gone? Hmm. Now that I think about it, I also saw, saw a giant tower in the sky around that time. I'm not entirely sure how you missed it. Maybe you're just fucking stupid. Over where? Haha, <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, there's a big tower. This is it, the darker lord's lair. Motherfuck. Four holes, let me guess. Need to run around collecting jewels again before it opens. Oh, cool! More side quests! So I'm starting this segment of Miitopia with another questionnaire asking me who looks like they wouldn't sugarcoat the truth. And I shit you not, there was a me just called God? Luigi, no, not you too. Oh, it works. Let it be known, folks, if you're ever dying of heat stroke, just run around and sit on a cactus. Pray to God it acupunctures you in the right places. Is that the right word for it? acupunctures? It seems a lot of people had opinions about me having TikTok when I said I had it in uh, episode three. And it was mostly just, you should delete it. And honestly, I probably should. Much like all other social medias, it's just a fucking cesspool of just nonsense. But man, sometimes I just need the flashing lights in front of me to make my mind feel like it's not going to blow up. And I'm not entirely sure how I got to that point, but my For You page is just filled with a bunch of Vocaloids screaming. My For You page is kind of like that book Around the World in 80 Days, where I am just hopping from one side of TikTok to the next. I don't even have an ideal destination. I don't know where I'm going. I am just a... I'm a TikTok nomad. I am walking around, looking around at the sites. Hey, there's a there's a little bit from MILF talk. Hey, there's some uh, Ratatouille musical shit. Hey, here's just a guy standing in front of a hot take on Twitter with music playing in the background. Oh God, not Jar Jar Binks. Oh my God, and he's a cat boy too. God fucking damn. I don't like how cat boy Jar Jar is following me. You know what fucking sucks about the tank class? Every single action takes a little bit of MP away. And I get that's supposed to be like their ammo, but meh. <laughs> At least just have the normal attack be the tank just 
running up and hit and running the enemy. No cost to MP, just effective, just one and done, bonk. It's just your uh, classic football legal tank tackle. Goose is sorry for being mean and wants to be friends again. Why is this better than like half of the YouTuber apology videos? Hope I don't run out of jokes. That's me during every single video I've recorded ever. Uh, I don't like the face the metal scorpion's making at me. Oh god damn it, it's like the fucking when the imposter is sus face. I can't, I can't escape it. Killer Queen, final bomb, skibbity bow nada. In the days of old, our four heroes, a dumbass, a dumbass, a dumbass, and you wouldn't believe this, but a fourth dumbass played Kirby Star Allies and enjoyed the hell out of it. So much that they decided to upload their experiences to YouTube. However, that was during their freshman year, and now they're back with their senior year for their triumphant return to Kirby Star Allies. Also, we are significantly funnier than before. Please watch. We're gonna have to click through this, the boy. Well, it's just the baby. first three, because we haven't unlocked the other ones yet. No, nope. I'm fucking dead! <laughs> By the way, Donald, Drago, Seth, the Fool. Only I've changed the fool. my name. It's a fool. Alright. Uh, it's just like my legal name. Drago I've changed it. Wait, what? I'm not telling you what it is, because this is going on the internet. <laughs> just fucking- Okay, then just text just me what docs it is. His just docs his full name. This is my last name. I got it changed into court. I just need to go um, to the social security office, get a new social security card, and then get everything else changed. Yeah. Which is a real pain, because I think I have to mail everything in, and in this postal service, I might as well be putting that on the internet. So anyway, your social security number is uh, 217. So anyways, be sure to leave your social security number in the comment section Wait, down below. We won't right? use it for anything. <laughs> so let's do everyone's favorite part. Um, no. when we're actually doing the mini games. Why? We have to do this for 100%. Okay, so, um, Seth is out. Uh, John is out. Womp womp. Yeah, I didn't- Yeah, he was out. And I'm good at the game. <laughs> I'm oh, insinuating that nobody else is good at the game, no, which I'm is true. Fuck. God damn. God damn. Yo, oh, I got 69. Let's go. Alright, so John wins. <laughs> and I'm second. Objectively. Alright, so we're gonna have to repair our shit because uh, Joy Cons are a very good controller with nothing wrong with them. But they're probably just gonna cut it out and be like. He definitely will cut it out. Yeah. Right. Do you put the most intense, like, doing music over this? Oh, absolutely! <laughs> the memes. Seth just built a stripper platform. What is your stand name, by the way? Ram Ram. Country Roads. All Star. Uh, that was good enough for this episode, right? No. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna follow quits here. Thank you all so much well, for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, that was a uh, thank you guys for watching our mini game Let's Play. Actually, no, unironically, this could be like a bonus episode. Yeah, that was a that was our six percent Kirby Star Allies playthrough. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Speedrun. This is the any percent run that you never wanted. Imagine if they replaced the prayer song to God's main riff with the lick. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I don't know how music works. I'm musically illiterate. I can't read it. I used to do chorus, but not anymore. I'm illiterate. I just musically up. illiterate, right? I'm, uh, I can't I'm, I'm reverse musically right. illiterate. I can only read music. I'm like, I don't know how- English, English lettering, you're fucked. But if, if your street sign is written in quarter notes, you're good. Send me on my way. I got it. Good man. Take me by the hand. You sent me the wrong way, you fucking moron. I got it. Oh, wait, never mind, it's all good. Ocean heat, take me by the feet. Right. You heard me. Festival should come with a full moveset. Yeah. I'm just saying. So shouldn't Mike Kirby. Instead of the Tesmo. The Tesmo? It's Jesbo. Are you out of your mind? I've, I've always a, I've heard it as Tesmo. Well, you have hearing. You probably have hearing problems. I have hearing problems. I have depression. Oh, is it Dream Palace time? Dream Palace time. Who wants yeah. it? I, I would like to use Marks, but I can take Rick Kine and Koo for abilities. I want... Why are you guys being nice? The people don't watch videos for niceness. Okay, fine. You they fucking... want bloodshed! Alright, want... Kynes, give me Marks. <laughs> I want or Dark Meta. Honestly. I, I want, want, I want Dark Meta tonight. Alright, well, we have a true way to decide this. Well, because we only have the first three plus Waddle Dee. Alright. Alright, we have a true way to decide this. Turning around, closing my eyes, tell me when. Now. Now. <laughs> Let's go! Light him up. Fire domination sign. Imagine if this is what we have to do. Yup. Prince Pink between. Mankind. Are you sure? Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba ba ba. Well, I guess 
this game was designed for co-op after all. It, much of Stark allies. True, true. Much oh, yeah, of you don't oh, have wait, you mean you're the, right, you're wait, right. You mean the allies part wasn't just an add-on? Kirby Star, three other fucking idiots, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I do speech and French. I'm actually thinking I'd like to think of Which, uh, Well, my sophomore year, there was a guy in dramatic interpretation, which is where you tell, like, a dramatic piece. His first line was, Hey, kids, do you want to see a swastika? And he then contorts his body into the shape of a swastika. It's a truly bad. It's a dramatic piece, so you're not supposed to fucking do that. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, if only Drago and, and uh, Donald switched places. Hot take. Swastika? Bad. Every time I hear this song radioactive, I instinct and they say I'm waking up to ash and dust, I instinctively say I wipe my ass and I slap my nuts. I'm, I'm breathing in the genitals. I'm Let's fucking go! God, I'm breathing in the chemicals, slide whistle noise, bra sound effect three. <laughs> Bruh. You know one of the dumbest things that I've had happen is, or my parents and I were ordering from this pizza place, right? And <laughs> our like, order was, can I get a flat disc of bread? You're not serious. <laughs> no, we legitimately got just a flat disc of bread. Wispy's looking at us like, I think he cheated. It's been fun. You guys like Wispy Woods? Well, uh, not you're not gonna- long. Not for long. Only you can prevent forest fires! Honestly, I really enjoy this. <laughs> Playing a cute game with the boys. You're. Oh, give, give me thunder. Give me thunder. Cardio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Spark is only good in places where you have uh, the ability to use motion control. Oh, uh, time for my cardio. Honestly, the reason I feel like I'm so good at jacking up is because I use Spark predominantly as um. And we're off the air. <laughs> we're gone. <laughs> okay, Spark. And the reason I'm so good at jacking up. <laughs> All right, time to win. I've won. I'm unable to be hit. Shit. Are you ready to lose? No, not November. No. It's not. Ah! Ah! it's not November. It's no not November somewhere in the world. It literally isn't. I mean, yeah. And that was it. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Uh, it's been a really good time uh, playing this game with you fuckers, but um, I guess uh, we're ending it here. Bites of Dusto! I always make jokes like, imagine if that was the game and everything else is DLC. Oh no. EA. Curb EA, Star Allies. <laughs> I can't explain this one. I think this might crash my game. What is it? I don't know. This is. Oh. It's just a normal me. How the fuck? What? Me? me? This. I can, like how the quote is me question mark. Can this be like the Squidward suicide of Curb Yeah! <laughs> yeah! And we're the fourth yeah! Idiot. Let's fucking go! 420. I had to do it. The funny number. Alright, so I have a word I want to search up and it'll change your life forever. Space. <laughs> <laughs> we got it! We got it! Yeah! Let's fucking go! Fuck! You gotta just start saying random shit. Alright, so our ball's deep in this nut, right? <laughs> Realize that we're the colors of the political compass, so we have to... Oh yeah, the components of the political compass. Da Baby, Drago, <laughs> Joe Biden, and uh, Pico from Friday Night Funkin'. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan of mm, Mario. <laughs> Donkey. Is Donkey is good. How about, uh, how about this one? <laughs> Imposters. <laughs> yeah, let's get this one. Rivers out of the in way. the desert is the music. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you're a little more mm, richer. Come back when you're a little more sussy. This is a uh, Fucking image if I've ever seen That's one. a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, this is probably gonna be the thumbnail. Palutena. I mean, it sure is. Oh, we haven't done combustion code. What the hell is this? Oh, I made this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with uh, Verbal Ace, the beatboxer from outer space. <laughs> wow. Have fun! <laughs> this, is about, this is exactly what I thought would happen when we played on this stage. <laughs> The, the entire goal of this stage is just don't touch anything. Oh god, no, no! It's the fastest uh, stage, and everyone's gonna die. And there we go. There we go. Oh god! No, no. It's down to the final two. I really liked the frame of Morshu and Mr. Beast just looking at each other with murderous intent. I feel like I'm watching a chess match. This is like... This is exactly what you're watching. Y'all are gonna fucking play? No! 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 <laughs> it's just that easy. We could go to, um, Drifting Joy-Cons. That seems really funny. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's <laughs> go Drifting Joy-Cons. <laughs> what are these stages? They're just a weird... Good! That's, that's the point of cursed me. For a second I dissociated and forgot that we were recording. <laughs> <laughs>
Amen, brother. Where is... I, I know the me I wanted to play. There he is! So, how about Mistake? No. You guys rocking with this? <laughs> I like Mistake. I don't like Waluigi Pinball. There he is! There he is! There he is. There he is. You guys rocking with Oh God No? I think we should change off of four grub hubs. Here, I'll change off of grub hubs. All right, I have an I idea. Want, I want to be grub hub. I have an idea. Valentine. Funny Valentine. The funniest of Valentines. My funny I have a, Valentine. No, I got an idea for us. See, we we have all three Galler starters. So what I'm thinking is we have <laughs> we do Wulu versus. Scraw Bunny versus Groki. Sobble, Groki, and, and Scraw Bunny. <laughs> I can't tell if they spelled these wrong on purpose or not. I feel like they might have done it intentionally. I love Pokemon Sword and Shield. So how do you guys, how do you guys feel about the, uh, the Grubhub commercial? I don't, I, keep I don't care it. for it. I don't care for it much. I think it's hilarious. I haven't seen it. You're one of the lucky ones. Look at this. <laughs> this is incredible. Do you guys like Shronky? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Who do you guys want to see as the next DLC fighter? Soul Bad Guy from the DLC series. I was gonna say Zeltoad, but if I had to be honest, Fawful, he's always there. He kind of has to be my second Mario pick because there's no fucking way that Geno's getting in. I don't think Geno's ever getting into Smash. It's not in the cards for him. Which is very unfortunate. So, having said that, I think it'd be really funny if Mallow got into Smash Brothers. Alright, Seth, what about you? Oh, wait. Um... Magalore. Amen, brother. Just any Kirby rep? That's slap. Oh. oh, yeah, speaking of Mallow... <laughs> Other Jojo. Papo! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the god of the new world. Have you heard about how in Pokemon Unite, Cramorant is gonna be a playable character? What? Cramorant's gonna be a playable character? Wait, who yeah. else is gonna be playable? Uh, Eldegoss, apparently. Why does the Jojo not have the Jojo neutral beat? With uh, aura, aura, aura? Yeah, he just throws a ball. Yeah, just pretend that ball is a dog and you're good. I am the lord of the bottoms. Take him out of the contest! <laughs> Boomba! In this 20-page essay, I will do the following. Um, your mom. I don't like looking at this. I really like looking at this stage. We have become one with the cursed content. I am I am your lord. I am the Lorax, I speak for the cursed content. I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees, and I'd like to say a few words, if you please, regarding the story that you're about to see. It actually happened, just take it from me. But there's more to the story than what's on the page, so please pay attention while I set the stage. We open in Canadville, a city they say it was plastic and fake, and they liked it that way. A town without nature, not one living tree, so what happened to them? Cue the music, let's see. Shit. That was just, that was just from the script. Uh, I am the Lorax, I speak for the knees. I'm the, I'm the Lorax, I speak for the trees, and the trees uh, speak you, Vietnamese. You guys rocking with Obamio? <laughs> That's the Obamio! What is it? it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the this, this stage rotates. Uh, uh, oh god, it's <laughs> perfect! <laughs> oh, this stage is fucking perfect. I really like how the only way that I could possibly, that me or Seth could possibly win is just by, well, I would say stage, stage cheese, but apparently we're all so bad. No! No! <laughs> and there goes Papyrus. I think we've done enough screwing around. Yeah, let's do good one. Yeah. Poyo, oh, God. 2 .0. Oh, my God. Kirby is going to steal your knee. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> no! Damn it! Hey, game strong! <laughs> I did not think that would work. I was just throwing out random moves to see what would happen. I think we should do Sideways Destination. Sanzet! Um, no, I dare you to do Sanzet. I mean... I kinda have to. Well, have fun! You like your platforms, do you? Oh my god! Welcome to Sideways Destination. There you are. I, I see you. Alright, let's see if my hubris will be my downfall. I'm uh, I'm in. I, nice weather we're having. I clip through the stage! Alright, how about you fuck? <laughs> Alright, so I see the game you're playing. In the three days where Jesus was dead, I think this is what he did the entire time. Oh. I've gone even further than that. <laughs> I'm gonna, the start in the Holy Spirit. I'm, gonna set, I'm gonna set down my controller, let's see if something works. HOLY SHIT! LET'S FUCKING GO! Alright, it's down to Jesus and Ronald McDonald. Who is the true savior of humanity? No! Oh! And Ronald oh, McDonald wins! So you guys want to do one last round on this stage? No! no, 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 no. Brewing Chocola Cola, step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which grows only in Chocolate Hawk Woods. Could have guessed, 
Brewing Chocolo Step 2. Place one Chocolo fruit in a barrel that has been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Cool. <laughs> that Chocolo fruit looks like he's having a great time. <laughs> Step 3. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Aw, oh, just, just give them a bit of my content and oof, gonna create the stalest soda imaginable. Well, it seems we've reached the Chocolo Chateau. Here's hoping that there's not a massive maze of barrels just up ahead that's incredibly annoying. Motherfucker. Oh god. It's old people! How is that pronounced? Fuck it, I'm just gonna give my best interpretation. <clears throat> ah! Honestly, I think we should petition the exclamation mark to be the 27th letter of the alphabet and just be pronounced by screaming. I need to train myself properly to do French accents. Hon, 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 oui, oui, baguette. All right, I'm ready. These two French people just taught us how to give Mario head trauma. <gasps> Luigi is only strong enough to just make Mario small, but Mario is strong enough to fucking bury Luigi within the ground. You can do something pretty funny with mini Mario and normal Luigi. Luigi, uh, sorry about your dick, but um, Mario is dying the day I'm recording, so consider this revenge. Ah, coins, sweet money. Luigi is fucking dying because of this. <gasps> Oh, it's time for my favorite part, Poems of Love, Volume 1 by Bubbles, original owner, Chateau de Chocolat, an empty barrel, so like the heart of a man, tunnel from below. Dude, that's that shit. If we got to study Poems of Love by Bubbles in the poetry unit in English class, I'd like the poetry unit a lot better. A wise man once said, mo money, mo problems, but clearly that wise man wasn't wise enough to try tax evasion. One fact about the barrel is that it's integral to the Mario and Luigi speedrun. I can't even explain how it works. I think the speedrunners somehow use the barrel to break that game down on like a molecular level. There's just a bunch of vomit on the screen. Not like actual vomit, it's just pixel vomit. That's how they described it in the run. And it's just, it's a thrill to watch. The commentator gives the incredible line of everything you're about to see here is completely intended, which Fun fact is my Instagram bio right now because I find it incredibly funny. Yeah, but after you're done watching my video and subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting the bell because a portion of you guys who watch my content aren't subscribed and that kind of makes me feel bad, I'm not gonna lie, that makes me feel, well, I thought we were gonna have a blue chocolate fruit, but purple works too, I guess. It makes me feel sad. That's it. Is that what you want? That's basically it. Subscribe so Mario and Luigi can find the Chocola fruit. There we go. Yeah, you gotta subscribe, otherwise we won't progress in the game. You subscribe yet? I'm waiting. I'm like one of those, I'm like one of those fucking teachers who just waits for it to be quiet, just like, we'll wait. We can wait for it to be quiet, and it's just, it never happens. A few hours ago, one of my friends on Discord sent me a list of characters who they simp for. They're in a group chat with me and Seth, and Seth said that half the characters him and I simp for are the same, and that's true. Asking me who I simp for is a loaded question, but I can give you a brief rundown. I want to keep things somewhat fun for the homies when they're trying to guess my waifu. See my last Superstar Saga video, I talk about the waifu clause there. Y'all gotta catch up on your John Old Cosine lore. Anyways. <sighs> Every girl from Dragon Rumble 1, excluding Toko, because I kind of find Toko intolerable, but during Ultra of the Spirit Girl, she gets better. Every girl from Dragon Rumble 2, excluding Hiyoko, because fuck Hiyoko. Every girl character from Dragon Rumble V3, excluding Tenko, because obvious reasons. She hates all degenerate males. I'm giving a list of my waifus and having them be open to the public by posting them on my YouTube channel. You can make the connection from there. Also, to make it clear, Himiko is not a waifu in the way that I find her genuinely attractive. I just think she deserves protection, and if you hurt her, I'll kick your ass. Every female confidant in Persona 5, excluding Oya, because no, and Futaba, because also no, but she is the funniest character. Mimosa from Black Clover. The only bits of Black Clover that I've ever consumed is playing the open 
openings over and over again, but I've been meaning to get into Black Clover and she seems like a, she seems like a really cool character. Rita Scrap Marie from High School DxD, yeah, that show. I've been meaning to watch that show so I can be in the loop with my other degenerate friends who watch that show so I can finally know what the fuck they're talking about. Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Rosalina, Pauline, and if you're feeling real spicy, the Shadow Queen. Mina, Momo, Ochako, Nejire, Mount Lady, every girl in the main hero cast from Bakugan Battle Brawlers except Runo because they find her pretty much intolerable, and Paige because she's probably a butch lesbian. And the most simple character of all, the mother from Friday Night Funkin', thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And rather than making fun of me for my waifus, leave your waifus in the comments below. That way we can both make fun of each other mutually. Or we could be nice in the comments and say, hey, that's a nice waifu, you got a good taste there. But YouTube comments being nice, come on. Not, not gonna happen. You can leave your husbandos in the comments as well. Hell, I don't discriminate. The only time I will is uh, when it's uh, a child. When your waifu or husbando is an actual child, will not discriminate. More of the proper word for it, I think, would be, um, call the police. There it is. <laughs> so if you haven't really pieced it together by now, the Game Night Discord, as well as myself, we're just a bunch of horny toads, and we haven't felt the woman's touch in, what, years? In other news, this worm is really angry. Let's kill it. All right, you with the tree-yee-ass haircut, I got your fruits. Let me in, all right? So what's in here? Oh, no. Oh, God. The jokes he tells are puns. Uh, it's worse than I thought. We gotta save the Chocola Reserve from this guy. My name is Bubbles, and I am the ultimate comedian. Oh, I'm sure you are, buddy. Un, du, dua. Oh no. Oh lord. Uh, Queen Bean. This might be a little weird, but I can assure you, this won't hurt a bit. Oh. Yes, let's go, the Excite Spring! This is exactly what I was looking for. Come on, attack Luigi, you know you want to. Look at this. Uh, uh. <laughs> These are the laser snippets, and they shouldn't be threatening considered they're supposed to be the standard enemies of this group, but for some reason, I am incapable of dodging these things. Never mind. Disregard that previous comment, I was great at the game the whole time. It is a block from Super Mario Brothers, made of secret materials from the Mushroom Kingdom. They're made from toads. <gasps> what? They're made from toads and by Mario breaking bricks and blocks. He's killing the toads? Yo, what if Mario was a sociopath? Someone better get on researching that. What in the world is going on with this dude in the back? He doesn't look like he's having the funnest of times. He's just pulling back on his face. He's trying to smile so hard, so badly. Is this what they do in the Hooniversity? Do they just research laughter? If you want to research laughter, just put my content in front of people. That will get them to laugh for sure. You, you fake me out. I might die. I'm not dying yet. I might be dying. I'm dying. Well, that was a series of unfortunate events. All right, what does a blue virus turn into? Yellow, got it. Now, uh, if I want to match them, I have to pray to God the blue attacks first. Oh, I'm a genius. I might be an idiot. Never mind. Oh, completely intentional victory on my behalf. Bada bing, bada boom. And that, my friends, is how you play Dr. Mario. In this experiment, you will jump by using the A and B buttons to score points by hitting moving blocks. Well, yes, hypothetically, but hear me out on this one. This is a valid strategy and it works to perfection. This minigame is easy, this minigame is for babies, I've never failed once. And all I had to do was press X over and over again. <gasps> Barrel Man, Barrel Man, Barrel Man, let's fucking go. I'm incredibly upset, because in the original game, when you switch your action icon to jump on a barrel, Mario would go, woohoo! And now he just goes jump, like a regular boring person. I don't know if the developers of the game grasped it, but I didn't really need to jump on a barrel, I needed to woohoo onto a barrel. Oh no, we're playing Donkey Kong. Alright, I am a Donkey Kong god. I am a Donkey Kong god, no one's ever seen anything like me before. Holy shit, I never do this perfectly. Oh, oh, I'm built different. Oh, I'm built different. I never do that first try. I never do that first try. Oh, let's go, dude. I was fully ready to complain about how my dad was good at Galaga and not Donkey Kong. 
Oh, but I first tried that segment. Let's fucking go. Now that Fawful and Cackletter are officially out of commission, I think that we can say the Bean Bean Kingdom is saved. Fuck, wait, the Bean Star. Hold on a second. There was a comment on my last Metopia video that said, All hail you and your me's, and I think that's gotta count for something. Ooh, Night Dagger. This looks sick. Thank Christ I didn't come back with 1 HP banana, because right now I'm sitting at 69 HP bananas, and while I may be recording this, when there is currently less than a week until my 18th birthday, despite me almost becoming an adult, my mentality is still that of a 12 year old. 69 always will be the haha -ha funny number to me. Damasu, you ruined the number. All right, what am I? Uh, what? I'm hiding, man. All right, Donald, for your punishment for hiding behind Uzaki-chan, I'm giving you a second dose of the hyper sprinkles. This has to be some kind of allegory for drugs, right? Maybe I'm reading a bit too much into this. Maybe Mario isn't a sociopath. Or maybe Sans isn't Ness. Ex-Dark Lord Sans. Oh, hello. How are you doing? What Undertale AU is this? A little bit airheaded at times, on. Huh? Am I? You fall asleep in the middle of battle. Well, people need to sleep, you not- Yo, true! So maybe everyone should take naps during- Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to agree. Don't- <laughs> You're in the middle of a wartime. <laughs> Gunshots everywhere. Oh, uh, just uh, take a little nap. Oh god, it's everybody's favorite princess and fake out misogynist, Wendy's and Burger King. How the fuck did they get their face stolen again? Strong Burger King Gollum and gold General Wendy's. They're trying to hit us with a combo meal. The same that we're all gonna have to serve them up a nice knuckle sandwich with a side of hyper sprinkles. God damn, food puns are so easy. I really like that the pitch of the songs increase as you give people hyper sprinkles. It adds a nice little touch. This is like fucking Nightcore Metopia. Curiosity is gonna kill the cat. You know what, let's do this. YouTube.com Super Mario Night Core. You're joking. <laughs> I mean, of course, of course there's Night Core Jump Up Superstar, but there's also Night Core Forest Maze. Oh, that's really good to know, dog. And for the uninitiated, Night Core is basically just raising the pitch of a song to make it sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. The royal countenance is restored again. Isn't it wonderful, Papa? You saved our royal bacon again. You have our thanks. Blast that infernal Dark Lord. Or should we say Darker Lord? The fight isn't over yet. But if anyone can do it, you can. Good luck. Oh, no, no, much, much, much. I think we should just leave Burger King to his own devices. I'm still in shock and awe that the Burger King women belong in the kitchen tweet. Just actually got greenlit. I mean, I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to, they were trying to take a phrase that is like really, really damn bad and sexist. And then they were like, hey, let's flip that on its head and say, let's empower women by uh, giving them jobs uh, cooking in Burger King. And uh, I, I know what they were trying to do, but <laughs> Not one, not one person bothered to give a second thought on that tweet. Everyone, the whole marketing team on Burger King looked at the fucking tweet, women belong in the kitchen, without any follow-up. And they was like, nope, yeah, this makes sense. I think the dumbest part of this Burger King drama shit is that they thought it was a brilliant idea to tweet out women belong in the kitchen, without any follow-up. It's just one tweet. They followed it up in the comments, but they didn't follow it up on the tweet itself, and eventually, <laughs> the follow-up comments with the actual good message and the good initiative <laughs> were ratioed to hell. So, <laughs> it's just, it's fucking out of context from Burger King, women belong in the kitchen, full stop. Bro, all the male marketing employees for Burger King looked at that tweet and said, yo, this shit, this is fire. <laughs> oh, this is, this is an animation. This is incredible. Ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Wow, come on. Why are you still fucking here? Oh God, now Will Smith is truly blue. This is the true form of Will Smith, the strongest he has ever been. It's been two turns and Will Smith's already about to fucking die. Hyper Sprinkles are so busted. And he's dead. Whoa! <laughs> now that's hot. What do you mean I made that joke already? And there goes Alice, swallowed by the void. Well, rip to our cleric. Time to complete this level without her. I used to work in a banana factory. What? Ah, uh, yes, I made lots of HP bananas every day. Yup, good to know that HP bananas are completely artificial. Playing the roulette, come on, this is this is what will inevitably lead to my gambling addiction. <laughs> the Salty Bet video, that was just a preview of coming attractions. You're, hold on, I gotta, there's no path forward. Am I an idiot? Uh, Miitopia, Skyscraper, Walkthrough. All right, cool, very sick. Good to know that I just have to find a random ass lever hidden amongst these places. Rosalina Pole. Fred Daisy Frog. <laughs> Waluigi Pole. Oh God, the strongest life forms we've ever seen in our lives. Darker Lord is truly despicable. We have to stop him. <laughs> There's nothing less intimidating, in my opinion, than like making grr noises or hissing at someone. Like. Animal-like noises, I don't think there's anything less intimidating than that. Like, I've had people, like, legitimately hiss at me before, and I, it, it's not, it's not intimidating, it's just weird. <gasps> oh boy, my favorite enemy archetypes, let's go! <laughs> oh baby, the rocks are back, hold up, look at these motherfuckers. Wait, hold on. Where, where are they? Show me the meteorites. There they are. Look at this dude. <laughs> a log. The monster really gave Goose a log and honestly thought he'd love it. Come on, get me lucky on the roulette. I want to be lucky. I'm feeling lucky today. I'm not really feeling lucky anymore. <laughs> oh god, I got old. I can't give good commentary when I'm old. Actually, that's a lie. I can probably give good commentary when I'm old. Uh... <laughs> I could probably give good commentary when I'm old. i definitely be coughing and wheezing a lot. It's time to beat Miitopia once and for all. The Darker Lord's Domain. Here we are. So you finally made it up here. I thought I was going to die of boredom. You leave Great Sage Sakurai alone. Give us our boy back. Oh, you want the Great Sage back? Well then, come and try your luck. Uh... Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Ha! Oh, well, he just killed himself and made himself little artifacts. Never mind, we might have a problem. The Darker Lord Sucker. <laughs> man, this is supposed to be climactic as hell, but man, this looks dumb. Wa ha 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 would you take a look at this fine new form of mine? Can you feel it? That raw, overwhelming power then? Come then, let us end this. I have made a huge mistake. We can do this, guys. Rargh. Honk. Is he gonna use the target attacks? I, I, oh, I guess he's never going to do it. <laughs> Sakurai's hand has been destroyed. <laughs> there he is. The Darker Lord Sakurai. <laughs> and this fucking I don't know why I just like the final boss a lot it's very funny did I catch you at a bad time allow me to show you my true power say your prayers oh no now he's gonna become a darker our lord he stole our faces he keeps fucking doing it are you kidding me all right dark curse we're gonna save our boy Sakurai and our friends it's not gonna stop we're gonna keep on winning! It's finally here! Our last battle! Let's do it, no matter what! We have to win! Let's go! Sakurai, the darkest lord! I was close. Let's go, Matt. Lose his mind. Lose your mind. Ooh! And Matt gets the final attack. A nice shot, if you will. And there you have it. The Darkest Lord, Sakurai, has been destroyed. Bada bing, bada boom! <laughs> Dark Curse in the back is just... <laughs> the Dark Curse despised his own face and cast it off. It's time to make this guy reborn. So a guy who doesn't talk to people much and hates the way he looks. Well, I'm already the main character of this story, so I think we might have to settle for something else. Who else could it possibly be? 
than one of the original faces who started meme culture, the troll face. <laughs> yeah, if I have this guy as a troll face, this game's definitely repeating itself. Ugh. Oh god, I don't like that. What's up, bro? <laughs> Look at him walk over. Donald and friends, saviors of Metopia, I offer you my sincerest gratitude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we did it. We're all dancing off into the sunset. The faces all come down from the other world. And with that, peace and tranquility return to the land at last. Congratulations! I mean, of course, Miitopia couldn't have possibly been saved without the efforts of Goose, Luigi, Uzaki-chan, JFK, On, Damasu, Peter Sona, Matt, Alice, and myself! Markiplier is also there! <laughs>